Lean. Yeah. I wrote this this afternoon. It was something that actually happened on Friday night to my friend Deb and I. 10 p.m. Friday night Maccas, feeling tipsy time for a snackers. My friend and I order a cheeseburger and fries. Deb opened her burger. What the hell is this? I heard her cry. I turned to see a burger with bites taken out by three. Threw it in its yellow wrapper on the bench it lay, half munched by a hungry worker. No way. The staff, <coughs> the staff looked on in dismay. Oh, we do not know how this happens, they say. The young Macca's girl said, would you like a free Sunday? <coughs> no, cried my friend. I want to know how this happened how my cheeseburger met its end. Well, we do, know not, we do not know how this happened, they say. And the young girl says, would you like a free Sunday? <laughs> Deb got another cheeseburger. We deduced that it was sabotaged by a dis disgruntled worker who in the peak of anger bitterly bit into the burger before he threw his apron to the floor and stomped and stormed out the door. Or perhaps it was an innocent mishap, half eaten and mistakenly wrapped. Needless to say, late night snacks at Mecca's are for us no more. Free Sunday or not, we will not darken their door. <laughs> you! Quality. Time and time again. <laughs> All right. All right, see you again. Uh, Eddie. 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 <coughs> now that once again she is single, I can't help wonder if Lara Bengal would with me like to mingle. Time with me she didn't want to share. I reminded her that I was a millionaire. About that she seemed to care. And so her life wouldn't be so bare and stark. Now she's broken up with Michael Clark. I would buy her a brand new viola, and she could play it while she tried to burn Brendan for viola. <laughs> and to get away from unkind, vicious talk, she's now shot through to New York. Hey. This is an Alan Word Warrior Gregory. He used to busk around the Peanut Farm and Brunswick Street. Uh, true blue, bluey, or just plain blue. I will leave here Australia, which is flattened in a sea of blue and raised under a sky of blue. True blue. And I was born high in the blue mountains. My heart is blue and my eyes are blue. And I was born high in the blue mountains beside a blue billabong underneath the gum, blue gum tree. Where I was brought up with my dog, a true blue, blue eater, whose name was Bluey. Now one day we hit the track, the dog and I, and I was humping me Bluey down, and that's not screwing me dog, that's me pack on me back. And we got a little bit dry, the dog and I, and we came across this pub called the Blue Ruin, all painted in blue. Not so much painted in blue, it was ruined in blue. I suppose that's why they called it the Blue Ruin. Anyhow, the barman, he gave me a blue look, and I said I didn't come in here looking for a blue. And if you get into a blue with me, you'll be black and blue. And he took off like a bolt out into the blue, out into the wild blue yonder. Well, I made a little bit of a blue there because pretty soon the boys in blue came. Picked me up, put me in the blue wagon and took me up to the Bluestone Jail. And I'm sitting there feeling awfully blue and I was singing the blues too. And this police woman came in. Jesus, she was good looking, all dressed in blue. And I just blew, I just blew. I, ju I just blew me mind. So you see the word blue means many things in the land of Oz. Hey. Hey. Hello, what's your name? Eddie. Eddie, can you do one of a box? Who's? Box. Instead of blue, box. Just do one of a box. <laughs> There's a lot of variations on box. No. Don't know. Some people call me blue. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's because I'm always sad. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, the, the last person in the hats. No, it's with that. Um, yeah, this is a song um, by E Pop, but it's got this sort of like I've sort of thought of it like a Ray Charles number. It's really interesting, like that. I don't know my my sensibility is quite concise, but you'll I don't know if you know the song. It's got this um, lovely saxophone solo interspersed with it. It's um, called Tiny Girls. Um, and it's off the idiot record. Um, well, the day begins and you don't want to live because you can't believe in the one you're with because you know her tricks and you know her past. And when she makes a face, you just have to laugh and you feel like such a know-it-all when you only want just a tiny girl and you hope she'll sing so you turn around towards that tiny girl who's got no tricks who has got no past yeah, that's what you think. And you hope she'll sing. But she sings of greed like a young bad sheer. And she wants for this. And she wants for that. What did you think? Well done, everyone.